Hundreds of photographers will be at the Derby this Saturday, but one stands out from the pack. Don Daler is up at the Downs. In a sport of raw speed where champions are determined by milliseconds, it's Barbara Livingston's job to freeze time. What makes the perfect photograph? I'll let you know when I get one. <laughs> I look for color, light, and to keep distractions to a minimum from the subject matter. So you're drawn into the, the moment. And there's so many beautiful moments here. Many of which happen off the track. To actually get something that evokes feeling versus someone just saying that's technically a good shot, there's a world of difference between the two. And again, it doesn't always work, but it sure is fun when it does. <laughs> Livingston fell in love with horses as a young girl. Beginning with her dad's Instamatic, she's been photographing them all her life. Now chief photographer for the Daily Racing Forum, she's won more of her industry's Eclipse Awards than anyone. That's great. Not bad for someone who's nearly blind. Okay, who's that there? Due to an unsuccessful childhood eye operation, she can only see blobs of color with her left eye and extremely blurry images with her right. Her cameras have special viewfinders that help somewhat, but she has zero depth perception. Like, I don't actually know if you're closer to me than the horse. I just know by going like this. I think that helps me. You think it helps you? Sure. I see like a photograph. The world is a photograph. And what a world she sees. This photo <laughs> says so much. A triple crown champion basking in adoration. On race week, the 56-year-old's days began before dawn. And her pace is, well, exhausting. But the smile never leaves her face. Every day I wake up, I'm happy to be coming here. Every day when I go home, I'm happy that I was here. And every night I go to sleep, and I can't wait to be back here. You found your place in the world. Yeah, yeah. And how lucky am I to have that? No. How lucky are we? Don Daler, CBS News, Louisville, Kentucky. And that's our picture of the world tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.